What's up, everybody, and welcome to Five Nights at Candies. Sorry for that long pause, pause. And it's your host, Matter Mad Dog. And I can't believe I have to freaking re record this because my laptop ran out of memory. So I had to delete something and it didn't get saved on this. So I have to re record. So I'm gonna do two nights per video, alright? Right. Yeah, it's it's great to finally have someone qualified for the job, you know. <laughs> uh, we had to, like, share the shift because, you know, someone has to be here during the night. Uh, but, but with you, uh, now we have more energy to be here during the day. Uh, you see, we're probably going to be a lot busier from now on. Um, you may have heard about the place called Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria, right? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, they got shut down yesterday. I don't know why, though. Uh, probably something like uh, tax fraud or such, you know. Uh, I never really liked that place. I always had a bad feeling about it, you know. Uh, their pizzas weren't even that good. Uh, anyway, I think you're going to fit in really well here. The staff are really nice. Uh, we make sure to help each other out on everything. Like, uh, when, when we close late in the evening, we all make sure that the floors and tables are probably cleaned and all the dishes has been washed before we get off of the day. Uh, now, in order to save power, of course, all the lights will at night be turned off. But don't worry, we have a desk lamp in the office that you can use. If you open up the maintenance panel, you'll be able to view the restaurant through the security cameras. And the cameras all have a neat feature, which is night vision mode. These cameras were the cheapest we could get, so the night vision isn't that accurate. But it does retain the colors, which is good, I guess. Um, you can toggle the night vision by activating the camera you're already on. And, uh, by the way, we have a security feature in the restaurant that limits how much power can be used after hours. Uh, this is mainly so that our electricity bill doesn't skyrocket during a night if somebody forgot to turn off something somewhere, you know. Now, um, your office is also the information area, which you can tell because of the window counter in front of you. Uh, there should be a button underneath the desk, too. This is for the security door in front of your window. Uh, to your left and right are also two doors. These doors are, um, uh, a, a little stupid. Um, you see, they require power to be closed. Um, I think it was something about some computer or somewhere always checking if they're closed or not. Or maybe it was a security feature, you know, in case the place goes dark. Uh, like, if there was a power outage, you know, you, you would be stuck here, but the doors open up automatically if that happens. Um, all three doors are power-driven, so basically don't use too much power, otherwise the place will shut off completely. Uh, but, but don't worry, as I said, the doors will open up if that happens, so you won't be trapped. Uh, I, I think that was all for now. Uh, yeah, uh, good luck on your first night here. Uh, don't fall asleep. And have a good night. The reason why I was doing that because just look at the cat. I don't know what I was putting out the screen. Look at the cat right here. Just want do you wanna do this? Doesn't it look like a face shows up? Chippy, right? Oh that was just amazing in the background. I thought somebody was here. Either way, they're not even moving. Look at that! I am Candy, and this is Cindy. I'm gonna play with Cindy's pole, and she's gonna be say, Yeah, do it. This is gonna be, gonna be such a blast So she's gonna hug me afterwards <laughs> Thank you Dashie for those words
I'm in the seventh grade, like last year, seventh grade, and I was like, you know, when you were younger, you were dumber, right? So my friend, I don't know why I said it like that, we're still friends, my friend wanted a specific type of calculator, right? So what I did, I grabbed the calculator and hit his, like, favorite type of calculator, right? And then named one, the one that he liked, the and the other one, puh, and I made him decide, there you want in. If you watch Dash, you know. So, yeah. And he chose the, the, <laughs> you know, night vision. This reminds me of Tom and Jerry for some reason. Don't know why. And plus, why is there a random coat hanger right there? I got like a jacket or something. At least, you know, never mind. I don't know why I'm being flamed. <laughs> flamed. Being triggered by it. But why is there. Never mind, I'm being stupid. Because no, they don't want me to be freaking robbed in the night. I have a lot on them. Papa Punk. There's really nothing to do on the first night anyway. Literally nothing. I bet he, they didn't even move. They didn't move. Left. I'm right. I'm so freaking dyslexic. <laughs> screaming in my head, villains like charms. I know the B was in that specifically good, but it's what you do when you when you don't have no nothing to say anything. Mm -mm -mm. I just beat this. <laughs> I just thought of this video that I watched from. Old Sauce the God. I don't remember like how to say his name or anything. But he says like one of his animated videos, he says, I was suck a nigga dick for a collab. They just cuts the nigga suck a nigga dick out. You know? I keep forgetting the name for this puppet thing. 
Had the marionette, uh, one for FNAF, uh, FNAF 3. Thank you, Core Counting. Uh, I wish I could use the WASD or Nero keys. <sighs> hey, puppeteer. I know the puppeteer controls the puppet, but still. I thought I saw his eyebrows move. Three, two, one. To our school. Then, uh, what did you get on? Oh, okay, never mind. Because people get their report cards in their rooms at different times. Okay, if you are working a night shift or working or in work right now. You better be working, you better stop watching this video because if you don't work and your bots catches you, then you'll end. Gonna do and then hire you. <laughs> Take it long. What if she or oh, he's actually dating Star? Sorry for doing that. Uh, see, I told you you're doing just fine. Uh, anyway, I thought I'd mention uh, we we have this little um, uh, list of uh, <clears throat> problems uh, that we have observed with the animatronics over some time. Uh, it, it's it's nothing to be concerned about, but, but the animatronics Excuse me, do sorry. have a few minor glitches. Uh, yeah. Uh, we're of course trying to get them fixed, uh, but you should know some of them so you don't get uh, uh, nervous if you hear anything. Let me see. Um, the animatronics sometimes start to walk around on their own. Uh, sometimes in the morning we find them in the strangest places. <laughs> uh, so you may see them walking around while you're here. Uh, let me see. Some of their sensors are a bit wonky. violence towards a guest, the animatronic will try to seek out the cause and uh, stop it. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I have no idea how it decides to do that, but it, it doesn't seem to mind it with the children, though. It, it's it's weird. If, the, if there are children playing cops and robbers, you know, and one of them gets shot, you know, uh, the animatronics don't really do anything out of the ordinary. Uh, except after that day, uh, the animatronics don't really seem to function properly around adults, uh, especially not around the staff. Uh, yeah, the animatronics seem to ignore you most of the time, you know, unless you come near them. And they just turn their heads and look at you, like as if you just told a bad joke. <laughs> I, I don't know, it, it, it's kind of creepy. Um, but yeah, we kind of had an accident about a month ago. It seems to have like, traumatized their systems or something like that. Uh, anyway, we replaced the faulty animatronic with some brand new ones. Yeah, so he's stored way in the back until we can get someone to fix him. Anyway, if I were you, I'd keep the other ones at a distance and uh, use the doors if you have to. Uh, that would be it for now. Uh, ha have a good night. I don't know if I already said this, but that right there behind the monkeys reminds me of Tom from Tom and Jerry. When he hear him, he was one bar. <laughs> and this this awkward silence, like, oh, what should I talk about, like? I was literally waiting for y'all to say something then I realized wait I'm recording this so they can't respond until after the video. You know what's really hard for a YouTuber like me? It's like because you don't know what people want to listen to but you have but you just have to guess like what trends it are. Not necessarily guess like what trends you can just look at it. 
But you know what I'm saying? Like you don't know what to talk about, so you just kind of guess and freestyle it. You know? So thinking about it this way, it's like talking about talking to a deaf per deaf person. You know, not a deaf person, a mute person, because mute people can't talk. Obviously, it's like you don't know what they want to talk about because they can't speak so you kind of have to freestyle either they do their sign language thing or just write it down you know so yeah it's kind of like that it's here's the weird thing about it because you like specifically you like and then person like the other person watching next to you in, in another place, like probably you ought to have nothing in common or at least one thing in common that you watch me and that you're my favorite that I'm your favorite YouTuber. <laughs> uh sorry if I'm not but either way. Yeah, you know, that's why I'm here, trying to make you laugh. And if you read my channel description, it says like I want you to be happy and I don't want and I want you to not think about your real life problems and make you laugh. And that's why YouTubers are here because they want to make you laugh. And specifically you, at least, at least, if they at least make one person laugh or something, then they they accomplished what they wanted to do with that video. You know. You know, if you look at these closely, he can j if that can just waddle and just plop onto that and. That will just fall down and just create a big mess. And the next skeleton head is just like staring like... What is it staring at? And if we only could see like what's there. Like that exoskeleton's perspective. It would have been much easier to see what he's looking at. Ooh, oh, he's looking at that animatronic booty. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like... <clears throat> That's nice. <laughs> no? For him. Four parts. Nothing has attacked me. Or us. Yeah. This is, this is not me. This is about us. Thank you, Dashie. Oh, if I. Dashie's real name is Charlie. If you watch his dad videos with him, come with him. Like, you watch him, you know. I thought an electronic stare. I was gonna say Pokemon. This isn't Five Nights at Pokemon. Well, tell me down in the comments, like, what's your favorite Pokemon starter from first to seventh? I keep thinking something's there. Oh, probably there is. I'm just like skipping through it, like, really quickly. I should go back in the footage because when I done that, so it's four a.m. Thank you. Tell me what's it okay, tell me in the comments down below what's your favorite video of Mark Players. No I'm JK Long. So I don't know if I should do a poll or something because nobody would literally answer anything. But it's never hurt to try anyway, you know? Because I was thinking about like, doing a Subnautica video or a Batman Arkham City video. But it's like because I don't have enough storage on my laptop, like I said in the beginning of the video. I don't have enough storage, but I'm getting storage on like Thursday or Friday of next week. So it's gonna be fun, like. Like the graphics won't be that amazing, but it will be enough to like satisfy y'all, like entertainment-wise. 
They got two bars and it was like 30 minutes. 30 like a minute in here. So it should be fine honestly. I can't wait to do those videos because mm, because I wanna entertain y'all and I don't care about the money. <laughs> I said I don't care about the money, not I do care about the money. Yeah, so after this is gonna be the end of the video so I can just edit this and publish it for y'all's entertainment and brightness mint. <laughs> Okay, how I deceive of this that a dude killed a girl, right? Or a guy with a high pitched voice, which most likely is a girl that died that a dude killed her and put on the conveyor belt and I don't know, and just put her on top of those things and, and it grinded her, I think. But but that will be that will. If that will be for another episode. See you in the next episode, body. Everybody, body. Everybody. See you later. Bye.